Hi guys, regarding a question asked in say Senate June exam, I am going to prove something and after that you can easily connect your options related to this example. First of all, the question is here now, if fx belongs to zx, then about irreducibility of fx over z or over q, what are the results we have? Here. My claim is if fx is irreducible in zx, it is irreducible in qx and conversely. If fx is irreducible in zx, then it is irreducible in qx is a big deal and that the queries are over this option only. Now, my claim are based over two basic results. One Gauss theorem, Gauss lemma rather, which says fx into gx equal to say hx <coughs> if f and g are primitives that means the coefficient of the gcd of coefficient of f is 1 and that of g is also 1 that is called primitive polynomial so if f and g are primitive then their product is primitive in zx we are talking about zx in zx this first called gauss lemma now second is if fx belongs to qx then there exists c belongs to q such that fx can be written as f1x c into f1x where f1x belongs to zx and f1x is primitive. So, these two results one should remember that product of primitive is primitive in zx and second that if we have a polynomial over q, we can always express that some rational multiple of a polynomial over integers. Now, my claim if fx belongs to zx, remember zx coefficients are integer. If fx equal to gx into hx where gx and hx belongs to qx that means I have taken f is not redu irreducible over q that means we have reduced f as part of two polynomial in qx but this can be written as c1 g1x c2 h1x by lemma 2 g is member of qx then i can always find a rational number c1 g1x and h1x are primitives in zx and this implies c1 c2 equal to g1x and h1x now again by lemma this lemma g1x h1x this is product of two primitives hence this has to be primitive this is over z this is over z and product of two primitives now this f is member of zx now if f equal to c1 c2 where c1 c2 are initially taken from q g1x h1x this implies c1 c2 should be member of z because g1x over z h1x is over z and this f is over z and they are primitive nothing can be taken out as common to make this integer so c1 c2 has to be z that means i have expressed this as c1 c2 g1x and h1x this is over z this is over z if f is reducible over q implies f is reducible over z p implies q then not q implies not p that is if f is not reducible over z means f is irreducible over z implies f is irreducible over q so this proof is very useful for you to select the options of that 88 question of section a, uh, section c uh, booklet a where first option is of course correct which i am receiving so many 
queries whether it is correct or not. So, in my opinion, or rather, I have given a proof that first option is correct. So, I have just proved that fx belongs to zx, then fx is irreducible over z implies fx is irreducible over q. That is fx is irreducible polynomial in zx, if I say, then it is polynomial which is irreducible in qx. So, option 1 is correct. Now, about the rest of the options, option 2 says, if f is irreducible in qx, then it is irreducible in zx. Certainly, if fx belongs to q, zx implies fx belongs to qx. If f cannot be expressed as product of two positive degree polynomials over q, so it cannot be expressed as over z. Because if it is expressed as product of two irreducible polynomials over z, definitely the members will be over q as well. So, option 2 is also correct, which says if f is irreducible in qx, then it is irreducible in zx. For this question 88, first and second options are correct. Now, for rest of the options, we can easily eliminate by count examples. Just see, take f of x equal to x square plus 1, it belongs to zx and then f bar x where belongs to z to x and this f bar x is same as this obtained by reducing the coefficient modulo 2. That means, we divide the coefficient by 2, remainder is taken. So, this f bar x, this 1 equal to 0. So, f bar x is reducible over z 2. The statement says, if f is irreducible in z, then for all prime p, mention it, all prime p, the reduction f bar of f modulo p is irreducible in f p. See, this is irreducible over z but its reduction reduced polynomial f bar is reducible. So, this option is correct just p equal to 2 negates the option. Now, as fourth option if f x is irreducible in z x then it is irreducible in r x. Again we have a count example x square minus 2 this belongs to z x say this is f x. Now, this f x degree 2 it can now x minus root 2 x plus root 2. Certainly, this cannot be factorized over z because the factors coefficients are not from z, but certainly these are real numbers and it has been factorized over r. So, this is a statement which says ki irreducibility in z x implies that of in r x is incorrect. In fact, we must remember that every polynomial over q or over z, if degree is greater than 2, is not irreducible over r. That means, it always can be reduced over r if degree is greater than 2, is strictly greater than 2. Now, one more query, I am just receiving the logic. People are saying that f of x equal to 4, which is common I should share with you. They said this is a polynomial which is of degree 2 of z x. It does not have root, but it can be reduced. So, remember redu reduction of a polynomial of degree 2 or 3 depending on the root is necessary sufficient condition over field. This is member of zx, a polynomial over z can be reduced without being having root rather this is this. This polynomial does not have any root in z, but is still it is reduced factorized as part of 2 polynomial and degrees 2. So, a polynomial of degree 2 or 3 is reducible over f if and only if it has root in f. This is true for field, z is not field. So, this question if we consider as they are asking irreducibility of a polynomial, first and second are correct and third and fourth are incorrect. Thank you.